We are sending mighty mice to the International Space Station to see how these muscle-bound mice behave in the setting of microgravity in terms of muscle loss. One of the big problems with sending astronauts to space is that they're not subject to gravity in the same way that we are here on Earth. And as a result of that, they lose tremendous amounts of muscle mass. The reason we use mice for these types of studies at the International Space Station is that the mice are mammals, so their physiology and biology is very close to uh, that of humans. And at the same time, they're manageable because they're small. The focus of most of our work has been on a molecule that we call myostat. We showed that if we engineer mice so that they completely lack myostat, all the skeletal muscles in the body were about twice the normal size. We thought, well, maybe targeting myostatin could have applications in lots of clinical settings in which muscle loss is a problem. And we thought one way to test this would be sending mice up to space, blocking this signaling pathway, and then seeing what happens to their muscles when they're subject to microgravity. We think that this study is very important because it has implications not only for how we might go about mitigating the muscle and bone loss that occurs in astronauts as they travel in space, we're also excited because we think that this could have applications for many, many conditions that people experience here back on Earth in which muscle and bone loss is a serious problem.